breaking ground for the future. That's right now in motion. You know, early on, our, all of our efforts were pretty much directed at trying to manage the disease, particularly when elm yellows came in. Um, you know, that, that was a real challenge for us. Uh, we did a lot of research to try to, to understand uh, the disease and the pathogen a little bit better. Since 2007, we've lost over 75 trees. And with that comes the process and the decision making that no one at Penn State was eager to make. We have a number of areas where, where we've, we have lost trees uh, over the last couple years. And uh, our focus right now is, is restoring that landscape uh, with new trees for the future. Since the introduction of elm yellows and Dutch elm disease to the elm population at Penn State, Jeff Dice and his experienced crew of arborists have worked diligently to halt the spread of the sicknesses. Some success, some failure but enough trees have come down that the next phase of the overall plan has come into view, replanting. For some time now, the university community at large has worked to help and protect the campus elms. The class of 1996 set up an endowment that replaced elms that were damaged during winter storms of 1995 and 96. Now, both the members of the class of 1996's senior class gift and the Office of Annual Giving are working with Physical Plant to replace diseased elms with diverse species to protect against mass wipeout in the future. You know, the management of elms at Penn State involves a number of different folks. Uh, we have folks in the research community that are helping us determine how we can better manage the trees. Uh, we work with pathology, entomology, uh, the campus weather center. The, the effort now is focusing on planting, and that's a hundred year decision. And really it's the collaboration of all the folks, campus planning design, the crews at Office Physical Plant, and we hope that we can make a decision that will, will benefit Penn State a hundred years into the future. Again, those trees that we plant now are really for our grandchildren and Penn Staters that'll come long after we're here, and we're hoping we're making a great decision so that campus will always have the, the beauty and aesthetic grace that it currently has. For In Motion, I'm Kurt Parker.